Hi guys, how are you doing today? This is Daniel from Los Angeles. In this video, I would like to share my experience about how to rotate the image of a LED screen into 90 degrees clockwise by creating a new RCFGX fire. The sample I'm using is a 2.5 mm LED display tire, as we can see from the lower right corner and the software I'm operating is Nova RCT Mars 4.9.0 version let's quick let's take a quick look at the LD tire first as we can read from the receiving card interface easily that the resolution of the LD tire is 192 by 192 and the each data group consists of 96 by 32 pixels in a Z shape if we check more information. Why should I make this video since there is a data rotating features in the normal ICT Mars? My answer would be because of this feature doesn't work to all LD tires, especially in the customized LD tiles. If you don't believe, we can take a look, take a taste. We click 90 degree rotating features here and send to receiving card. Let's see what will happen to the LD screen. After a couple seconds waiting, we can see nothing ever changed. Then how about 180 degrees rotating features? Let's see what will happen again. So, unfortunately, nothing changed neither on the screen. That's why we are going to start to set the a new RCFG fire by smart setting. Let's start to create a new rotating RCFGX fire. We enter the smart configuration interface and there are two parameters that we need to revise. The first is the quantity of pixels of each group. We need to change to 32 by 96. Also, the modules connected to receiving card, we need to the quantity of module connected to receiving card, we should change to one in column and one in row in order to make better configuration. The rest configurations you don't have to change. After, click, after clicking next, we will see the screen is dark, so we choose full black. And then next, this is the color recognition process. We look at the LED tire and choose the correct color correspondently. Here we we choose we input thirty two columns as the number of a bright bright rows. After that we can see a a flashing dot on the on the right on the left lower corner so we start here from the the left lower corner to the top we follow the flashing dots as instructions to finish the the guide After this, then we are going to finish the columns. Here 
we need to choose symmetric outputs and input the correct resolution of the tile. Also, we need to revise all the rest parameters into exactly the same as the original one to keep the better performance. We're going to send it to the every tire and see what will happen. Oh oh it doesn't show properly uh because we forget to to choose the mo module cascading directions. We have to choose from down to up or from down from up to down because the rotating settings. Let's see what will happen if we choose the revised direction from up to down. So it's still the same. So we can give conclusion that both from up to down or from down to up works to this LED screen. But uh, if we observe the LED is higher, we can see some data groups is not complete. So what we are going to do is do some some settings in the data group exchange. If we observe the area screen, we can see that there's some difference between in the in the left in the second row, for example. The the first the second the first one from the second row is 10, 11, 12, but here was none 10. So we need to re rewrite them into 10, 11, 12. And uh, there are two one the group one and the group two are repeatedly. So we need to remove them, rewrite them, to not repeat. If there's any repeat, repeated data, the software won't, won't go through. So we make changes according to what we see in the LD tile. After this, we can see the configuration is done. We save the configuration.